Bucks on their feet, and they all got their money's worth tonight. When I first saw the pointy straddle volcano that is Mount Pico shooting up out of this island in the Atlantic, I knew I had to climb it. Montana del Pico gets pummeled by ocean storms and high winds as it is the tallest thing around and the highest point of Portugal. It is on the island of Pico in the Azores, an archipelago of nine islands approximately 1,600 kilometers west of the Portugal mainland. Even at 38 degrees north of the equator, Mount Pico gets a cap of snow in the winter. As I flew in from Ponta Delgada, Pico played hide and seek in the cloud and I just saw the summit for a little bit before it disappeared behind a grey cloud bank. Pico last erupted in July to December 1720, and steam vents around the summit indicate that it is still very much alive. So it's 2.40 a.m. I just drove up to the mountain house, Casa Montana, and there's a good amount of stars out. It doesn't feel too windy here. We'll see what Pico is like. I'm uh, stoked, I'm ready to go up. Kind of tried to watch the weather as best I could for the clearest morning with the lo lowest amount of wind. There's a good amount of stars straight up. They're twinkling bright. Let's do this. To reach the highest point of the mountain of Pico, you have to climb around 3,450 meters, taking about six hours. The minimum altitude is 1,230 meters, and the maximum 2,351. The route is hilly, with areas of earth and rock, where you may find loose materials. The level of difficulty is high. The mountain. This is a GPS tracker, and we give one to everyone that climbs the mountain. These refresh your position on our map every 10 minutes. And besides that, this is also a phone. If you get lost or off the track, we can call you. If this rings, just press the middle button one time. Talk like a normal phone. Okay, cool. If you have a question, a doubt, but especially an emergency, press here for 10 seconds. 10 seconds pressing here, this will vibrate, makes emergency phone call. Okay. We answer and we help you anywhere you can. Okay. Remember, this is a free service, so have no problem at any point in contacting us if you need, okay, sir? It is 10 minutes to 3 a.m. and I'm going up. Those stars are just so beautiful. Super bright. It's got a little bit of low cloud below me now, but the summit is nothing but a sea of stars above it. It is gorgeous up here for the middle of the night and uh, I'm sweating already. I had one cup of instant coffee and one egg for breakfast. It's go time, breakfast of champions. I'm completely alone on the trail. I was the first car to park in the parking lot. It's a good amount of solitude and very peaceful. But it's a really cool feeling being the only person on the trail going up right now. Okay, so I've reached the crater rim. And you see that weather station behind me? And there's Pequeño, the actual true summit of Pico. The little Pico cone sticking out of the crater here. And it's about 70-ish meters higher than the rim I'm on. So about 70 meters to go. A sea of cloud below me and not too windy up here yet. Hopefully it stays that way. It's a bit chilly but not super cold. I, I don't have gloves or a toucan yet. Having to keep your head up to find the next marker the whole way up. And let's do this last scramble. Steep. So here we are on the summit of Pequeño. 
on the higher summit of Pico, top of Portugal. It took me three hours and 10 minutes to get up here. A little quicker than expected, so I'm a bit early. It's still night. This right here is the summit. You know what's crazy that I wasn't expecting? There's literal gas coming out of the summit pinnacle here. In a few different spots, you can feel the warm gas. It's like there's, it's venting. And that is just wild to think that I'm on top of this thing and there's life down there. You walk over this spot right here and you can feel the heat. It's like standing over a hot spring. Well, the forecast did say low cloud. And they were right. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's cold, but it's beautiful. So I'm on the highest point of Portugal. It is at uh, 2,351 meters above sea level. It's an ultra prominent peak and one of the highest in the Atlantic region. I'm up here watching a sea of cloud flow around underneath, which is extremely beautiful to watch as the vibrant colors just streak through the sky. It's been uh, absolutely epic to witness. Uh, we're seeing it before nearly anyone else in the whole Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> and Marcus from Germany is up here joining me. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. That. Someone's built a Neolithic stone shelter. If uh, the elements are getting wild up here on Pico in the crater, you can hunker down inside this Fred Flintstone looking house. Pretty cool. Walking down here in the flat crater is like walking on the surface of the moon. Although it's pretty barren and just made of lava rocks, there are some small amounts of lichen and moss and small plant life trying to make a living up here in the crater of Pico. Pretty tough stuff. Because Pico is isolated in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, it makes it an ideal place for scientists to study aerosol particles in the atmosphere, air pollutants emitted from North America and Europe, and so this observatory station behind me was placed here in 1998 for scientists from the University of the Zorus, as well as Michigan Technological University, the Institute of the Arctic and Alpine Research, and the University of Colorado Boulder. So I don't know how often they come up here and visit it, but it's looking in pretty rough shape, but pretty cool to be, uh, you know, a location of scientific research high up here, isolated uh, on this volcano.
I sign it? Yeah, you could put your name if you want. Okay. So there you have it folks, Pico, back down at the bottom. I waited six days for the right day. I waited six days for uh, low winds and a clear summit. My patience was rewarded because that was one of the best sunrises I've ever seen. I wanna go have a shower. Can I come through, mate? What's up? How you doing? Can I come through? 